Buenos días. Good morning. We're gonna. We're gonna do this dissection. Let me get my gloves down here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this day, uh, earthworm dissection kit that I got from Santa Claus. For Chris Miles. By the way, you see that there's a frog, frog. there's a earthworm, there's a grasshopper, and there's a, and a crawfish. 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 Which looks like a crayfish, whatever you want to say, crawfish. So, we're going to try to dissect one of these things. It actually comes with a dissection kit. Um. Oh my god. I think it's more for like a classroom. It says like a earthworm dissection kit teacher's manual. I mean, it's student's manual. We're just going to try it and see. Alright, so here we go. First step is woo! Formaldehyde. It has that, that smell to it. Can you take it out? I'm scared. Okay. Okay, so it says Lady Earthworm on, in the dissection. You want to read it to me? Yes, please. Oh, okay. yeah. The Lady dorsal... Earthworm in the dissection tray. The dorsal surface, its back, is darker than the ventral, its underside, and the ventral surface is somewhat flattened. Well, let's just pull it out. The ruler. That's longer than the ruler. Okay, just wait. Oh, the thing. Mm. Don't put that back on because it smells. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, so now. Base. What's that smell? So. Formaldehyde. Um. Uh, the earthworm's body is made up over. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, it says lay the dorsal surface. It's back. It's dark. Uh -huh. In the dissection tray, the dorsal surface is darker than the ventral. And the sur so I'm guessing, yeah, like this. I don't know. Lay the earthworm in the second tray. Okay, done. The dorsal surface, its back is dark. The earthworm's body, body is made up of over a hundred divisions called segments. Note that. Note the earthworm's lack of appendages or sense organ. It has no arms, legs, eyes, or ears in your journal. Draw the earthworm. Well, we're not drawing that. Okay, title your drawing. External value. Blah, 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 blah. Use your brother to measure the earthworm and record your measurements on the drawing. So this is the ruler they give us, right? I already measured it. So obviously it's longer than the ruler and it's almost as long as the actual little thing here. So I'm going to grab another ruler that I have here. Alright. Here we go, here we go. You got ready? It's hard. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. You know, let's, let's roll it here on this one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see here. This is not the greatest measurement in the world, but. <clears throat> it's. About. Ten and one fourth inches long. It's about twenty seven centimeters. About twenty seven centimeters. About twenty seven centimeters. Ew, All right, there's a little hole in the back. I just saw that. Ew, maybe that's how it poops. All right, here we go. Next thing. 
Using a hand lens, examine the outside of the Earthworm's body. The white smooth ring you see is the clitium, 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 clitium. The clitium is closer to the anterior or front end of the earthworm. Turn the earthworm's central ventral surface up. Locate the mouth. I need a magnifying glass for that. Can you like move it? Yeah. I think that's the mouth there. And there's how the first segment at the anterior. Your food enters the opening and travels through the digestive system. Or maybe it's this side. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the dissection part. <laughs> hey, but don't pick that up and put it on your own tray because I don't want it on the table. Okay, place the earthworm in the dissecting tray, dorsal surface up, and fully extended, which we have it now. Use scissors. Done. Scissors for what? Make a small cut through the body wall, about 10 segments posterior to the clitium. Insert the point of the scissors. All right, let's see here. Yes. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Be careful to only cut the body wall. Uh, avoid cutting down the soft internal structure. Okay, okay so let me try this here. Mm -hmm. Let me just slash you. Mm -hmm. Why? No, what's the point? It's. I don't understand why were those scissors and not like a little sacto knife or something. Use scissors to make a small cut through the body wall, about 10 segments posterior to the... But it's not... Strong enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so right here. No, what the... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You already cut it? Yeah. So now I'm going to cut through it. Mm. This is what you asked Sophia for? Uh, the frog mama. You want to cut it? No, no, I'm not. It comes with more stuff, see? These are the only scissors they came with? Yes. So you got to get in there right there, tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, a little nasty. It ain't a little, it is nasty. I'm glad I'm not a surgeon because... We're patient, then. Yeah. Exactly. What do you mean a surgeon? What does that mean? Somebody that operates on people. Oh, you said a surgeon. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said a surgeon. I'm making else. a big mess. I thought you said something else. Okay, there we go. Let's I don't know if I should lay it down and do it or just do it like I'm doing it. I don't know. <laughs> you have that smell. I already told you it's the I love, like alcohol like tons like super I'd rather it smell that than something else. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see how. Oh, yeah, we That's did it. I didn't have a okay. We went through part of. Okay, so let's see here. You can open it up. Oh, poo poo in there. there, there, there. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I 
think Gently open the bottle. I notice that the mini cross walls are septa. Cut through the septa on each side. And then pin the body wall to the tray as shown in the photo. Oh, did they give us pins to do this with? I think one. that's a pin. Pins? We have to we have to pin the wall to the side. We have to pin the wall to this thing. You know what we can use? Um, hey, you, do we have any of those, uh, you know, tacks? Mm. Yes, we do. We have, we have tacks? Yeah, let me check just, on there. I don't know where, but... Okay, just, just go with them. Just go ahead okay. mm. Don't do that thing in Here. You know what I can help with? These work? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, they go like that. Oh, the brown. They just, you know, pour, I would say pour some. That way you're not touching all of them. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is not going to be very good. And this you is can pick your colors. All right, pick, let's pick the colors. I think I'm going to do red. By the way, this is my first video, live video, so. And it's an exciting one, isn't it? <laughs> Very nasty one, too. Mm. Okay. What are you doing now? Oh, I see. Let me get closer. So I can see it better. They can get better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's good. That's some good eating right there. Oh, they're not <laughs> eating lunch right now. What? Oh, they're not eating lunch. <laughs> well, I feel like having some. 12, 24, sorry. Oh. Some mayonnaise and some sardines. Yes, very. Chicharras de puerco con pelos. I put it out of my. Yes, thank you. Mm. I like having some tartar sauce. Yes, of course. Lovely. Some good stuff. And what you want to do is, you just want to cut down the side here. I've had many years of experience doing this, and I've always found that if you pin the body first, and you just cut along here, it makes it so much easier to cut through the skin. <gasps> you, oh, I just read about Neil. Sorry. I said, don't cut the salt. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's look. Pick up that part of the tail, Sophia, or whatever it is. Yes. I just don't like anything. <laughs> hey, look how. The place is kind of small. Uh, okay, right? yeah, uh, uh, what do we, you we need that. Another one? Yeah, but I'm, I'll try to use the yellow ones because they're brighter. Here we go. Pick your color. <laughs> now you're going to have to cut through Oh my goodness, that's interesting. It's nasty, but That's what you asked for. But nasty and interesting, nasty and interesting. So it looks like there's little fibers. You see how there's little fibers connecting? Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. This, this is like the digestive tract right there, that little black thing. It looks like that stuff inside shrimp that, mm -hmm. you know, the vein. It looks like that. I think it, it, it's just, I think it is that. It's just what do you think, Coco? Are you liking this? You're just such a good little puppy. Okay. Uh, this puppy. You're not a puppy. Okay. But you are my little chiquitita. Okay, I think we're all here. Bonita, this means chiquita. they have both males. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think we're on that. There is one digestive organs. Food enters the mouth yeah, and then the parent. So then they move to the esophagus and then the cup. Do 
Do I cut? I think I cut here too, huh? Should I cut this thing or I continue? You can continue. Let me let me let me cut up here to the top. You wanna cut it, Sophia? You wanna cut it? I'm scared too. I can do the pulling out stuff, but I can't really do anything. I think I'm hitting stuff. I don't know. Watch up. Watch the bone. There we go. I got something good there. I'm scared to know what it is. They have no eyes or ears or anything, so who knows what you're getting. Merry Christmas, a Christmas comes each time this year. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, what's the juice? Still there, there's juice, there's juice. I'm glad we're using gloves. Mm. You want to take the gloves off? No. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Yeah, first we did it with the pin thing. See if I busted anything. Oh, look, 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 look at that. You scared me. So why did you scare me? Oh. What is it? I need to get, I need to get a pin. Here's the pins. The yellow pins. What is this? I think that's, it look like the heart. The what part, yeah. I don't know, it looks like the heart though. Let me get, let me get another, let me get another pin. Yellow, were you using yellow? Yep. Okay. Got a red there. Exactly. I don't know how that got in there. What? The red one. The pin there. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. It says. Okay. Let's see. I get a close up. Eleven. What's eleven? Seminal vesicles. Put them on. More. So can you move your hand a little bit, Poppy? I think that mountain fire is not working very well, though. It has it has five small. I did not know this, but earthworms have five small hearts. Okay, well, let's yeah, count. Let's count. I think they're right. Let me see. I think they're right here. Why don't you watch the things a bit? Watch out! Watch out! Or watch out! I think they're right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Four, five. Four. I don't know what they happened. They have five hearts. I didn't know they had five hearts. That's crazy. There's the other two. <laughs> Who knows? I thought it was a tail. One, two, three. I think that's it. This is the seminal vesicle right here, just from looking at the picture. One, two, three. They're squishy. One, two, three. What, okay. whatever oh, Hey, you all know that earthworms are hermaphrodites. Yeah, hermaphrodites. They have both male and female parts. I didn't know that either. I did. We got biology in high school. Well, so did I, but... <laughs> and I learned that. Yeah. I'm sure they told me that. I'm sure they did, baby. You were sleeping or something. I was thinking about... You ain't your loving. Mm, yeah, more. Mi corazón. Okay. I wonder what's in there. You want to cut that open? You want to see what's inside there? No. All right. Well, pretty much there you go. You get to see what's inside of an earthworm. So basically, this is the activity for this day. Tomorrow, we have more to do. 
What is tomorrow? We have, tomorrow we'll we have the, the frog to do. Tomorrow we'll do the cricket. Oh my goodness. And we have the cricket. grasshopper cricket oh. thing. I think it's the grasshopper. I'm not for sure. And we'll do that. The crawfish or the crayfish. Oh, that's going to be interesting. All right. Okay. There you go.